Hi, my name is Darren Joseph from HGJ.tax. Um, it's the middle of September 2023 and I'm in the U.S. I'm here for the annual America Outbound Conference. So I'm in New York and Beverly Hills, a great conference that brought together so many qualified advisors helping Americans move overseas or at least get their plan B in order. And today, I want to talk about one of the issues we discussed. So you're living in Singapore, and but you need a bank account for your BVI company. Getting, I mean, getting a structure is so easy. Every, you know, these jurisdictions make it so easy to incorporate entities. It's not an issue. The challenge is banking. So sometimes it's worth thinking the other way. Start with where you are, where the operations may be and where you can find a bank and then work out a jurisdiction to structure from so the in some t- you know sometimes banking needs to come first because it banking is so difficult and depending on what you're trying to do a structure without a bank can be close to useless so banking is super important unfortunately certain jurisdictions are not embraced by banks in, let's say, top tier jurisdictions. So if you have a top tier jurisdiction and you want to bank there, having a structure in a lower tier jurisdiction may be problematic, uh, especially when it comes to Europe and in Singapore as well. So you're in Singapore. They, the big three indigenous banks in Singapore, you look at lists, they are some of the most respected and the strongest banks in the world. So these are top tier banks. Those Singapore banks are actually stronger than many banks in Europe and in North America. So they're well regulated and well respected internationally. So therefore their standards are exceptionally high. Banking has always been difficult, but it's become increasingly difficult. And if you have uh, a structure in a jurisdiction in which you are not a resident, you have to give them a compelling reason for your need for an account. And why can't you get an account in that jurisdiction? If they're not convinced, they need your reaction. The default is going to be no. So if you've already tried and they're not willing to do business with your BVI company, then you're probably going to look for a Caribbean bank. they Bear in mind, it's going to be easy, you know, they're going to onboard you, but the fees will be high. So you're looking potentially, depending on the amount of transactions, the the, the size of the the balance, maybe you're looking at annual fees in the four or five figure space. But, you know, banking is super important. So if you're not comfortable with high fees, then you may need to rethink your use of a BVI company. Maybe you want to incorporate in a jurisdiction that's compatible with where you want to bank. My name is Darren Joseph from HEJ.tax. So if you're a six, seven, or eight figure investor, entrepreneur, or business owner who needs a tailor-made solution from a qualified team of professionals, we can help you achieve the international lifestyle, the freedom, and even the tax savings you're looking for. Visit us at htj.tax and live that international life.